Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Hawks Nest. And just before we get into this video, first of all, I want to say Happy Easter. Hope you guys are celebrating with your friends, your family, having a great day. Uh, second of all, make sure you leave a like and subscribe on this video because I post a lot of different MLB content that maybe will help you with Conquest, help you with, you know, Battle Royale, just help you in the game. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more daily MLB content. But now, let's jump into this video, and it is how to do the AL West in six moves or less and this is quite easy actually so let's jump into it so you're gonna start here like we always do and basically I went straight for the Mariners you can kinda see I went straight up and over down and then straight down it is very simple it's not as hard as it looks so let's start it off we start with five territories one two three four five that's the first move now you get to steal fans on the first move and what I would do is steal on legend I always recommend stealing on legend or Hall of Fame or the highest difficulty you can win uh, but this one you're gonna have to steal on legend first uh, I think it just makes it easier plus if you do lose and have to restart you're not really out anything maybe just the one game on the legend so what you do is steal on legend I would recommend stealing the Mariners the A's or the Angels since you're gonna have to play them eventually right over here I, I stole um, Legend against the Mariners because you're going to have to play them first. So that's what I did. I won on Legend. You get nine territories. So you keep going one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you attack on, I think it's Hall of Fame. It could be All Star. I'm not 100% sure. But you attack on Seattle. Then you go to the reinforce stage. You go right here. And you can move fans and all that. You should end up with about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ish, nine ish territories, and you put them on this square right there. Uh, you could just start going straight down from here, but it's it's easier if you start right here because there's no games in these territories, um, or there might be one compared to the one, two, three you have to face by going straight down. So if you start over a little bit and take the diagonal. It's the same amount of games, and you don't have to actually play them. You can attack open territories. So you have like eight territories here. Uh, on the attack phase two, you start moving your way down to uh, the A's. You can beat them, and then down to the Angels. I'm not 100% sure if you have to steal fans in there again. I think you do. But I'm not exactly sure. Obviously, you would just steal fans on the highest difficulty possible. Probably the Hall of Fame or Legend. And take it from either, you know, the A's or the Angels. So that gets you to turn three. And you can conquer all these territories right here. That's how you do turn three. Stealing fans on turn three then after the attack phase. I think it's just the easiest to work on the Rangers. And at this point, you can really start attacking on Veteran, All-Star, if you want to attack on Hall of Fame, you can. If you want to attack on Legend, you can. Uh, but I did it on All-Star, and you get a ton of territories from taking out the left side. You can see that over there. Um, you get like one, two, three, all the way over and down. So you get a ton of territories, and then if you steal fans, you'll get a ton more. I think I got like 10 or 11 territories right here uh, on, on the steal phase of turn three. When you redistrict them or relocate them or whatever, you put them all in the stronghold and you start sending them down on the attack phase of four. You go one, two, go straight through the middle. You might want to play these games. I really don't think it matters. I simmed them personally just because you have um, attack phase four, steel phase four, attack phase four, steel phase four. Attack phase 5, steal phase 5, and attack phase 6. Uh, you definitely have enough time to get through there. So I personally simmed these games. Keeps on going. I attacked this on uh, attack phase 4. And then I simmed one more round to get more people in my stronghold. Uh, or more, more territories, I guess. So I could attack the uh, Houston Astros on turn 5 and complete it. But like I said, you really could do it in four moves if you, uh, you know, attacked on Legend every time, won games, played all the games. You could really do it in four moves. This is very easy to get done in six. So just to recap, I went straight up and over to the Mariners, played on Legend a couple times, went straight down on turn three. 
then stole fans against the Rangers and the Astros on turn four, and, or steal phase three and four, and then I went straight down, just taking him out. I think the last two games were on all-star here, so hopefully that helps. You guys can obviously just look at the map and figure it out, but you go up and over, straight down, and then straight down again. Uh, so that is basically how you do the AL West in six moves. Like I said, you can definitely do it in less. Um, if you want to play on a little bit easier difficulty, though, like I said, you can also just play on All-Star probably. Um, but like I said, just try to try to beat them on the, the hardest difficulty you can. So that is what the map looks like. Hopefully this video helped you guys. The last strongholds, that you, or the last mission, I guess, that you have to do uh, before you can get the three uh, diamond cards that go with the uh, the 80%, the 90%, and the 99% is conquering all of the strongholds in 12 moves or less. That is going to be a grind. Hopefully, I can provide a video for that uh, in the future, but that is going to be the video today. I hope you guys have a great Easter. Thanks for stopping by the Hawk's Nest. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.